sea level came up and pull, uh, come over the seawall right over there and it's flat on, on the seawall. It's the world continues the way it is, the continue the behavior that they, they have become accustomed to and continue to pollute. Uh, we're not talking about a situation that's going to happen a hundred years from. We're talking about something that's happening now. We made this an equivalent of the canary in the, in the mine. We are the canaries that die in the mine to tell the miners, get out, you're going to die too. Uh, if the, the damage is such that we have to evacuate these islands, then it's already too late for the world to save itself. And this message must be, must be very clear to the world. most vulnerable classes of parts of the world it is small islands, especially low-lying small islands. The sea level rise is a major issue for them. The, the king tides illustrate why it's such a challenge. Uh, sea level will be at a, some normal level, a gradually rising normal level, until there's a big event, a storm surge or a king tide, uh, when the whole island can be overwhelmed. And one of the things we know from lots and lots of experience is that even a modest amount of sea level, when coupled with one of these extremes, a king tide or a storm surge, can really create massive damages and has the potential to make some of these island areas uninhabitable. Uh, maybe not in the next 10 years, but maybe in the next 15, maybe 50, maybe 100. If you were to ask the Marshallese people 
to pack up and go to, say, the United States or to Australia and become the wards of some other country. That's tantamount to suicide. Because you're saying you don't have your culture anymore, you don't have your language anymore, you don't have any more of what made you different apart from any other people in the world.